You can use sub patches in PD in order to create cleaner patches. I've got a patch that has a sequence from an earlier movie. We'll take a listen. So it's a basic sequencer and there are a few parameters. I can choose the tempo and I can choose which sequence, either the sequence of pitches on the left or the right. As well, I can mess with the note duration and there is this H radio, which is showing the position of the notes within the sequence. So what I'll do is I'll create a new patch and I will make a cleaner patch by having most of the control surface um, items on the front and then the guts within a sub patch. So to create a sub patch within PD, you create an object box that starts with the letter PD space and then give a name to your sub patch. So we'll call this sequence underscore guts. Now it creates a window called sequence guts which you can close and if you want to access it again lock the patcher and click sequence guts. So what I'll do is come over to the original movie and I'll copy the whole sequence or the whole patch rather. And for now, I'll put it within Sequence Guts. Okay, so the idea is going to be to have the, the mechanism of the sequence within Sequence Guts and then the basic controls outside of Sequence Guts. So what I'll do is I'll take the Tempo Chooser, Sequence Chooser, all of these user interface controls, copy them and paste them to the main portion of the window. And since the sequence is started here with this toggle, I'll create an inlet to the sequence guts sub patch by creating an object box and typing inlet. And now I connect that to the metro. I'll delete the toggle. And you'll notice now on the main window, there's an inlet created with sequence guts and I'll just create a toggle and connect that to the sub patch. Now if I click that, it goes. It's a little strange because we need to mess with some of the parameters. So delete this. Choose a sequence and go. Okay. So now if I wanted to get information out of the sub patch, I'd create an outlet. And just as creating an object box called inlet will create an inlet, I can create an object box called outlet, which will create an outlet. So now you see there's a small outlet on the sub patch. So what I might want to do here is I might, might want to connect, I'll create two outlets. One outlet will be for the current step to know where I am within the sequence. So that is coming out of H radio. So we'll say that's the first outlet. Step number. And the other can be for the current pitch. So what we'll do there is we'll take each of the ints and connect them to this outlet. And since they're being banged in a sequence, I'm not going to get all of the ints at once. It's a bit messy, but it works. Okay, now on the outside, under Sequence Guts, I'll create a number box and another number box. Remember that the first outlet is the current step, and the second outlet is the current pitch. Now when I start, and so now we can uh, mess with the sequence. We don't necessarily have to look at the guts of the sequence. We can just use the toggle to start the sequence and as well we can use these other interface widgets to choose different tempos.
So you can see how creating sub patches will especially be useful for rather complex patching because you're just going to have so much window space you can deal with and it provides you a nice way to logically organize your patches.